Okay, folks, welcome back to another uh, episode of Unfiltered Fishing. Uh, if you're checking out the channel for the first time, please uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a great deal. Uh, returning viewers, if you still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Um, okay, so today's video. Today's video is, uh, of course, going to be the announcement of the winner of the 500 subscriber giveaway, and I'll do that at the end of the video. But um, the, other, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was... Uh, changing the hooks on the SP minnows. So for a long time, uh, I've been changing the hooks on the SP minnows to a VMC 2 four times strong hook. Um, the hooks that come on them and the split rings that come on them out of the package are uh, subpar at best, they're not good. You really need to change them out. The split rings will stretch and open, uh, causing you to lose the hook and the fish, and the hooks will bend out. Uh, on the older models, on the newer models, this isn't so much of a problem, but on the older models, definitely um, a problem. So, I have here a brand new SP Minnow in the package. I'll probably end up uh, trimming a lot of this out, but in this tub of water. So what I noticed over the years is when I was using the 2.0, the plug was swimming differently. It wasn't wobbling as much, especially in areas where there wasn't a lot of current. You know, if you have a lot of current, the two O's, it didn't matter, they, they swam just fine. Um, but it, with the, uh, the lighter currents, usually in the back bay early in the season, um, I was definitely having some difficulty getting the plug to wobble the way that it did when it had the regular stock or the stock size 1-0 hooks on them. So here's a brand new one out of the package and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in the water and we'll see how that floats. Alright, so you know what, let me turn on this camera here. And as you can see, we'll turn that a little bit. It floats pretty much straight across. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the hooks to a, a VMC 2.0 and the split rings to a, a heavier split ring. Probably, I think it's Spro. Spro is the brand that I had with those. And we'll see how that floats when I come back. And you know what? I'll leave this in for those of you who are unfamiliar with how to change the split rings and stuff like that. It's really not very difficult. I know that these boxes say must add, but it's just the boxes that they got split up into. <laughs> we'll find the open end. And split them. Take that off there. There's one. It's the old one. And you probably changed the one on the middle as well, so I'm not going to do it for the video, but obviously it's just doing the same thing here. Right there. Here we have the split rings here. Grab one, two of those. Those back. I said I wanted to start with the two O's. This is the two O hook, so as you can see right off the bat, quite a bit larger of a hook. Sometimes what's easier to do is put them on the split ring first and then put them onto the plug. Look, yeah, put the split ring on the hook first. It's a little bit thicker. <laughs> Jack, those are sharp. I have a one good one ready to go. And a second one ready to go here in a second 
Mm, almost. You know what it is. Well, no. Okay, so there you go. And there's the uh, the SP man on now with the two O VMC four X strong hooks. And uh, let's see what happens when we drop it in the water. It does not quite float the same anymore, does it? And you can see that it's no longer balanced the way it was. It used to be right up on the top of the water. Now the tail has sunk all the way down. And now I don't have that much water in there, but I bet you if I added more water in there, it might even be completely submerged, which is what I noticed. So it's now no longer floating the way that it was intended to float. All right, so now I'll put the, uh, I'll take the 2 hooks off and put the one o hooks on, and we'll see with the heavier gauge how much of a difference it makes. All right, so we're just going to take these back off. stock one of those out here and two there's the original stock one of those and you can see I don't know how well you can see and you should be able to see that these are quite a bit thicker than those ones and size wise here's the two all and you can see how much bigger that 2 -o is, or how much wider the gap. That was that one, and... Okay, yeah, so those are the original ones. Once again, the same thing. Don't know how much we'll leave of that. <laughs> Yeah, I do find that it, that it's easier definitely to uh, put them on the hooks and then put them on the plug. Just me anyway. My eyes are getting old. One. And... Two. And they, they chose to use a, a brand new one because I didn't want, you know there to be at all cracked or anything else just so it would be true to what it was out of the box 
So here we go. This is it now with the uh, with the the one hour four time VMC hooks, which is the stock size, but uh, the heavier gauge. So we'll drop that in the water. So again, as you can see, the plug doesn't really sit anymore the way that it did out of the box. So the heavier hooks do affect the way that this plug this plug will move in the water. Um, you can kind of tell that it's going to be a little bit more buoyant with the smaller hook, but still, um, still less buoyant than it is more buoyant with the 2 with, with without the 2 but still less buoyant than it is with the original stock hooks and stock, stock rings. So what do we conclude from this? Uh, that plug is not going to swim the same way. Not exactly. Um, so, you know, this is why I no longer use the two overs anymore when I'm fishing calm, calm water where there's not much current to keep that plug moving. Because I noticed that in the water when I was swimming, it, it just didn't wobble the same. Didn't have that same wobble. Now, more turbulent water, it's probably not going to make a difference. Uh, obviously, you, you're losing some of... Of the level of water that you're using because if you want to fish shallow water if you're using a plug that's already sinking it, it's not the same plus when you're uh, when you're working the plug it, it's not going to be exactly the same so uh, this is why i decided to to keep going with the with the one o's with the same size rather than bumping them up to the two o's anymore uh, especially when early in the season when i'm using them in the back bay uh, so that's it. That was the experiment that I wanted to uh, to do. And if I think this water was a little deeper, it would have been a little bit better. But uh, I don't have a sink down here, and it's hard to carry this thing with any more water in it. I already sloshed enough around. But uh, all right, guys. So if you thought if uh, you thought this was a good video, and uh, you know if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I thought it was a pretty a pretty cool experiment here. Uh, I kind of expected what the results were. Uh, I guess maybe when it warms up a little bit, I'll take these down to somewhere where there's some clear water, and, and we'll try to get some video of them actually moving with the different plugs, uh, different different hooks on the plug. So I, you know, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, all right, so uh, the winner, the winner of the um, the 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I think so we'll uh, we'll do that. I'm gonna do that on the phone. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of confusion. <laughs> so I asked in the video on this video how many times did uh, somebody ask for Nicole, and I think everybody figured that it was. Uh, well, some people got the right answer, which was two, and some people uh, came up with uh, crazy answers all over the place. Um, and I think uh, I got misunderstood because when I turned around to Nicole and I said, uh, I said, uh, what did I say? I said, uh, oh, it was a lot more than just on the video. I think people assume that I meant how many times in total. But uh, that's all right. So, I'll, you know, what I'll do is uh, everybody who made a comment, uh, I'll just put it all in there. And, you know, whoever wins, wins. And I thank you guys again so much for subscribing and everything else. So, without further ado, we'll get that ready on the phone here. And I downloaded the app. There it is. What I have to do is I have to go get the URL first for the video itself. You up there. I can hear it next. Got a commercial, low comments, commercial. 25 comments in total, pick winner, oh, and the comment, and the winner is Sammy, <laughs> so Sammy, there you are, you are the winner, just a screenshot that, so you win uh, the prize package there, buddy, and, uh, you know, contact me on, uh, on Instagram, I know uh, you're on Instagram, so let's give me a, a shout out on Instagram, and you are the winner. And that is it, guys. And don't worry if you did not win this time; there will be plenty of more giveaways to come soon. Uh, 
We'll do one at a thousand. Maybe we'll do one before that, and previous to that. So again, guys, thank you all for making the 500 subscriber happen. Uh, really, really appreciate it. All the comments, all the likes. Uh, you guys are great. You got the best viewers here. I know it. Uh, best subscribers. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Till then, peace out. That's the first one of these I've caught back here. Little yellow bullhead who uh, gulped down my hook. How deep is that? You gotta watch, they got spines on their fins. Oh yeah. Up on the top and the two side ones. And they're sharp too. Looks like Brian. He <laughs> looks like Brian? <laughs>